It's the latest batch of hacked emails, purportedly from Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta, and the Trump campaign has seized on this one. It is from Hillary Clinton's campaign spokesman Brian Fallon, a person who used to work at the Department of Justice. The Trump campaign says this email proves Clinton's camp was in contact with the Department of Justice just as Justice was investigating Hillary Clinton. DOJ folks inform me there's a status hearing in this case this morning, Fallon writes to Clinton staffers, so we could have a window into the judge's thinking about this proposed production schedule as quickly as today. The email concerns a civil lawsuit about the pending release of Clinton's State Department emails, and Trump's campaign immediately pounced. Today's report that Clinton's campaign was in communication with the Obama Department of Justice on the email investigation shows a level of collusion which calls into question the entire investigation into her private server. The email doesn't specify who at the Department of Justice Fallon was in contact with, and other media organizations, including CNN, were already aware of the hearing that he's talking about. It was a matter of public record. Possibly more damaging in the recent email dump are what appear to be excerpts of Hillary Clinton's paid speeches to Wall Street executives. Clinton has refused to release the transcripts of these speeches, and according to the hacked emails, this may be why. A passage where she contemplates just how to regulate Wall Street reform in a paid speech to Wall Street bankers. There's nothing magic about regulations, Clinton reportedly says. Too much is bad, too little is bad. How do you get the golden key? How do we figure out what works? And the people that know the industry better than anybody are the people who work in the industry. It's one of several passages in her private speeches where Clinton mentions her longtime friendship and financial support with Wall Street. Contrast that with how she speaks about Wall Street on the campaign trail as she did this past February. Wall Street can never be allowed to threaten Main Street again. No bank can be too big to fail. No executive too powerful to jail. The hacked emails also show a very different view on trade when Hillary Clinton speaks in private and when she speaks in public. Speaking in private before executives of a Brazilian bank, she says, my dream is a hemispheric common market with open trade and open borders. We have to resist protectionism, other kinds of barriers to market access and to trade. In April, before a public gathering of trade unions, her message was different. I will stand with you, I will have your back, and I will stop dead in its tracks any trade deal that hurts you or hurts America. <laughs> but I believe we need a president who doesn't just complain about trade. We need a president who knows how to compete and win for American workers. The Clinton campaign's response to all this is to blame Russian hackers and, without evidence, insinuate Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin are somehow engineering a campaign strategy. The Clinton statement reads, in part, the timing shows you that even Putin knows Trump had a bad weekend and a bad debate. It should concern every American that Russia is willing to engage in such hostile acts in order to help Donald Trump become president of the United States.